I've had a long-standing interest in individuals with autism spectrum disorder. They're getting diagnosed at a rate of 1 in 88 children now. We don't know the cause. We have no cure. So I've been quite interested in gathering information about these individuals. About 50% of the population with autism is too severely impacted to comply with laboratory-based methods. So in these natural environments, like the home, like the classroom, we instrument spaces with video and microphones. We also put sensors on individuals with autism that record their physical activity movements, that record their internal physiological states. And all of these sensors can be time synchronized. They can record that data from a distance and then be accessed by a researcher or a clinician these different sensing modalities enable us to better understand when an individual with autism is stressed and the extent to which we can sense that internal state in real time enables caregivers to support an individual prior to them engaging in those challenging behaviors. Applying these technologies to autism is not only helping us advance autism research and clinical treatment, it's also forcing us to develop innovations in the technology itself. The technology is benefiting as much as the individuals with autism that we're working with.